I said, oh? How does it look? Meaning, do I see it? Yes. Do you see it? Basically, any lawman worth his salt's gonna spot that, yeah. Assuming that's a deal breaker? Yes, it's a deal breaker. Well, if stealth is what you're aspiring to, you'd best go with something more compact. 38 Special, snub nose. Got a concealed hammer so it doesn't catch on your belt when you draw. Tried and true, no nonsense about it. Five shots. Yeah. Automatic has how many? Ten in the mag, one in the chamber. If you can't get it done with five, then you're into spray and pray, in which case I wouldn't count on another six closing the deal. You load that with 158 grain hollow points instead of your standard wad cutters. It's got plenty of stopping power. Can't get more dependable than a wheel gun. Right on with this. That uh, snubby will conceal up real nice if you carry it IWB. A little harder to draw from, but it's really no substitute if you're intent on fooling a vigilant eye. Comes in polymer, too. I prefer the feel of leather. Old school, I guess. Yeah, um, sure it's on the correct side? If you're right-handed, it is. I don't know. Are you sure? Because maybe it'll feel better on the left side. A well, general rule, you don't want to cross-draw. Not unless you're going to be sitting. You know, store clerks, card gamers and such. Uh -huh. Either way, you're going to want to practice your draw. A lot. Because if you're all fingers, well, it might could be him keeping the peace instead of you. Catch my drift? What's this? Well, that there is why you're going to pay me five times what you'd pay your neighborhood gun store. Serial number has been filed off. So, to state the obvious, I... I don't want to be caught with this on me. No, sir, to state the obvious, you don't. You know, mister, I've been providing my services for the past 30-odd years. You'd think in that time I'd learn better than ask a man his business, especially not one referred by the lawyer. But I do feel the urge to ask you, are we strictly talking defense here? Yes, absolutely. Defense, why? Because if it's just personal protection, aside from a bucket of money, you'd save yourself a potential felony two-spot for carrying a weapon with a defaced serial number if you'd just buy it legally. But if you did have to use it, wouldn't it still be better to use one that couldn't be traced? This the West, boss. New Mexico's not a retreat jurisdiction. Man steps to you bent on doing you bodily harm. You got every right to plant your feet and shoot to kill. Some call it a moral right, and I do include myself within that class. All this to say, I'm happy to take your money. But if you're not a convicted felon, you might best be advised to bear your arms within the confines of the law. It's for defense. Defense. 